Uh, it's 78 foot by 12, um, my milk bottle museum, which I started off as a small building and then gradually added bits onto it uh, until it's the size you see now. It holds approximately 17 and a half thousand milk bottles, which my children worked out was about 14 and a quarter ton of glass. It contains bottles from all over the world, but primarily British bottles. As far as I'm aware, I have the largest collection of British milk bottles uh, overall in the UK. Well, I like the glass and I like the social history. Um, for example, if a milkman lost a milk bottle in the 1930s, the day he had it, that was the equivalent of six weeks milk down the drain. He had to turn that bottle round 40 times plus before he made a profit. They all had different designs. When I get a milk bottle for the first time, it's, you look at it and you think, first of all, I like the design on there. I wonder about the milkman who picked that design out of an art book. Um, all the times he had that bottle in his hands and what he did with it. And every bottle, even when I end up with it and it's finished its life as far as he's concerned, um, is, a, is, a, uh, is something in its own, it is in its own right. It's, it's something that's never going to be reproduced, it's never going to happen again. It's, it's almost like a one-off and it's there. Like all collecting, there are quite a few of us who are quite dedicated milk bottle collectors who collect them for their own sake. I mean, technically, 17,500 milk bottles are not worth anything. They're just glass, the most common thing on the planet. But to me, they're worth millions because they're my pride and joy. My mission is to get every milk bottle that I haven't got. And in all honesty, I never want to because while I'm still looking, they're still out there and I'm still meeting people and having a great time. Um, I get a lot of stories from milkmen and farmers and dairymen. It's associated dairies. Um, they were a dairy in Leeds in the 1950s and before. And most people won't realise that they're now ASDA, Associated Dairies ASDA. They bought a couple of little supermarkets, eight to late in the late 50s, early 60s, try and make a few more money. And now they're part of the giant combined Walmart from America. Um, I may have turned these down in the past because normally you get a roll over top, which is a demijohn for wines and vinegars and things like that. This has a milk bottle top and some of these have been embossed and I may have walked past them and not even realised they were once milk bottles. So, but I've got one now. Cartons to me are the enemy because they're not glass. The only reservation I have there is they are throwaway. Somebody can put a missing child on them or some information that you wouldn't get on a glass milk bottle because um, the glass milk bottle goes back and forwards when the events happened. So um, they have a use as that. But generally, um, if I had a choice between 500 cartons and, um, and a dirty rotten milk bottle, I'd have the dirty rotten milk bottle.